Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to log in admin and how to log out admin. In this video we can make a role. Suppose who is that? This is suppose I log in as an admin, so admin access his route. Suppose he is a suppose customer login is a customer account, so he can access his route. So we can use here like a middleware and a middleware inside we can make a like a condition wise rolling because we have already made a here like a is admin one column and suppose suppose right now i log in as a admin account admin at the red gmail.com and password one two three four five six i just log in now so you can see he is going to dashboard and after i log out so he is going to login screen but right now suppose i can use like admin dashboard so automatic access is dashboard dashboard user means he can access like a dashboard admin forms whatever tab here there he can access but this is not correct suppose he can log in after he need to access suppose anybody can hit like like this url so automatic going to login screen like a admin login screen so what we need to do we need to create like a here middleware and middleware against we need to show here suppose app http controller means middleware and we can put like a here create a admin middleware admin middleware we can pass inside control dot php so you can see it like we can create a one groups here and this group wise we need to go routes and we need to put here this routes groups so i can show you step by step what we need to do so please follow this video okay so first of all you need to open your terminal after you need to create a one middleware like a php artisan make middleware admin middleware because this is the only for admin middleware i press enter so taking few seconds after automatic middleware created so just wait few seconds mm, so just go to back again code so you can see it here is the admin middleware is a middleware successfully created you can see it here so i go to admin middleware so you can see here is a middleware class there after here this is the handle request handle request inside we need to check first use auth okay this user is a auth so we need to check like this user already login so so we need to declare about auth if is not empty like auth check is not empty so going to inside otherwise going to else part we need to put inside because he is a login so we need to access so else part we need to show like auth logout and redirect to admin url so just we need to put like auth logout and redirect return redirect admin okay so let's go back again and we can try but first of all we need to declare this middleware inside a kernel so simple just we need to go to middleware alias inside we need to create a just copy and paste bottom and after you need to change admin middleware to ensure email verified just you can change your words and here you can type like whatever words do you want to like you can write so i like like admins okay so this what i did first i will create a middleware middleware inside i have made a, like a validation okay user can log in so yes login so he's going to otherwise user cannot log in so is a logout and redirect to admin page after we need to made here some other condition okay this is the login user is the admin so he's going to inside suppose he's not admin so he's going to means a login screen back so let's show you first i can what i did after i go to kernel.php here you can see it like admin middleware there here and kernel.php inside i go middleware alias inside i have create admin and we have put my middleware path like a auth middleware so you can see it sorry i have put a wrong path like app http so you can see it like a f http inside is a middleware inside is the admin middleware sorry about that because i have made a wrong path okay now is a correct path so this is the path is correct now i need to go routes web.php okay i need to create my middleware groups so what i need to do for groups 
like routes group inside we need to create an array sorry array middleware and we need to pass like an admin because we already put here like an admin words this reason we are passing here admins okay now function and inside we need to pass whatever param whatever routes we need to suppose user can log in whatever route do you want to use inside a login so this is the routes do you want to pass inside so just i can pass here okay so middleware variables now we have declared about group middlewares because we have already created inside admins and this is the middleware we have declared inside a route dot means web dot php routes insights so just go back again and we can try work not work okay i just refresh the page so you can see it is automatic logout because we are not login let's i login and try admin 1234567 and i login now so you can see it now is working because the, we are login suppose i can go to admin list so you can see it also admin list work here okay suppose i go to dashboard so dashboard also work here so middleware working very well no issue so now we need to check another validation suppose here is the user type is equal to 1 means the is admin is equal to 1 so he can access otherwise no need to access so what we need to do inside middleware if auth users is admin is equal to is equal to 1 so he can access otherwise no need to access so else part just you can copy and paste above so let's go back again and refresh the page so working not working you can check what i did again i can show you first i have made a condition like if auth means is admin is equal to equal one so he can log in otherwise else part same like whatever bottom there we have put here okay like he can log out and redirect to admin list otherwise you do you want to redirect to main url so just you can type like a url like this whatever do you want to like so let's make a url like this so it's possible otherwise you can type like a admin so it's going to admin list okay so just go back again refresh the page so you can see it's working very well because the admin is admin is equal to one let's make like a is admin is equal to zero zero means we we have type like a customers okay so now so i'll get i go back and i refresh the page so you can see it now automatic logout because now user type change means the is admin is equal to going to zero so he's going to else part and else but what did auth log out and he can log in direct to admin means uh, redirect to admin login screen same thing suppose i can try again login same account okay so one two three four five six one two three four five six okay i click on the sign in so you can see it is impossible to go back please enter correct passwords because it's impossible login now why because we have made here like another validation is admin is equal to one so he can log in inside a auth controller inside you can see is the last video so you can easily understand in this video i have made a like a role how to log in user this reasons okay so just i can change again to once i just go back and click on the sign in so you can see it now login working very well so in this video i have explained how to make a role wise admin login means that we have created a Two roles one is the admin and one is a customer suppose future we can create like another role for super admin super admin means a two so super admin can access all thing right now we can doing like a website about e-commerce so we can make it like one role like admin and second role is a like a customer customer place the order so admin can see and everything we can do one by one i think you can understand step by step once i will explain i already explained everything like uh, another series like school management system inside so you can see it what i am doing so same thing we can doing here but this is the goal different and school management system is a goal different so in this video i have explained about the middleware how to work and how to log in wise we need to use a middleware this reason i will show you about the role wise role wise how to work middleware so next video we can continue inside a login screen so how to create an admin multiple admin and after we need to do like how to create a category subcategory after we can do is like how to create a products 
add new product edit products everything we can continue about next few videos so i hope you can understand for this video what i did let's explain again what i did in this video what i did first first i created new middleware middleware inside i handle handle system means handle function inside i did check the authentication is there okay is there so it's going to inside and we check like another rule like is equal to one so it's going to inside otherwise need to go else part and log out and going to admin screen means the admin login screen and we have create a kernel inside we have create like a middleware alias so we have put is the admin after i pass like a means a middleware path app http middleware slash admin middleware in the class and after we have did web.php inside create a one groups i hope do you want to like so do you want to like so please like this video and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching